Hello, my name's Brian, and welcome to my RC Digs. Um, I'll show you some of the stuff I'm working with right now, some of the projects I've got going on, explain a little bit about them. Um, not as big as some outfits that you'll see, but you know, I'm getting there. I've been doing radio control stuff on and off for well, probably 20 years now. I started out uh, back when I was a teenager with a uh, Traxxas Bullet, believe it or not, uh, that I raced a little bit. Uh, it was a good little car. And I just started exploring some different different things over the last couple of years. I've uh, got to work in with some of the smaller stuff like the little Dromedas. Tried my hand at some uh, quadcopters or drones if you want to call them that. Got, you know, started looking at building some different things that I hadn't worked with before. Uh, one of them being like this uh, Axial Yeti EXL. Um, I bought this kit not quite a year ago. Uh, put it together and it was the first kit I've ever built. I've modified the back end with uh, all aluminum trailing arms. I've upgraded the, uh, the suspension to piggyback shocks. I've upgraded the wheels, changed the wheels to Dixepic internal bead locks with Mickey Thompson Baja tires. I also put a front sway bar kit to help keep the front end down. It helped a lot in combination with the sway bar on the rear that came with the kit. It's been great. I mean, it, it really glues the truck to the ground. Even, you know, even when you romp on the throttle, the thing really sticks to the ground much better with those sway bars on it. Now, the electronics I went with were Tekken T8 Gen 2. Um, I went with the 2250KV motor. Of course, the Gen 2 RX-8 speed controller. Um, really nice system for this vehicle. The most recent project I've been working on is a Proline Pro 2 short course buggy. Uh, another fun build. Uh, it was, came pretty much, a good portion of it was pre-assembled, so I didn't have to do near as much uh, building with it as I did with the Yeti. I'm looking forward to running it. I still got to get electronics for it and that kind of thing, but a lot of the videos I've seen of it, it looks like a really fun vehicle to run. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting to race it. I've got your pretty standard equipment for working on cars and such, you know, soldering iron, all my tools and stuff I keep on my shelf there by my desk. These three wrenches right here have been the primary tools I've used on both these builds. Uh, not not a whole lot more than that. That's pretty much, you know, all of all the stuff I've been working on right now. Hoping to get some more kits going and uh, that kind of thing in the near future. There's a couple other cars that I'm kind of interested in building that I've seen, uh, but I want to kind of finish the projects I'm working on right now first. So. Uh, Guess I need to get back to work on these guys and I'll hopefully see you guys again sometime.